Okay, this is part two of graphing rational functions with slant asymptotes. We worked one example in the previous video. For my students, this is actually number four from your homework, so we'll work through this one. We are using our list here to help walk through this process and identify each of the major components, and we use those to help us sketch the graph. So let's go through the process. We'll start with horizontal asymptotes. So using the list, again, if you're in my class, you have this list. If not, if you're not in my class, you can screenshot this or even email me, uh, mrhowardmath at gmail.com, and I'll send you a copy of it if you feel like you want it and it will help. So horizontal asymptotes, we'll start there. Bubble bottom needs DC. Bigger on bottom, bigger on top, or are the exponents the same? Well, this one, we want to use the uh, multiplied out version, not the factored version to do this. And we have a degree 2, so an exponent of 2 on top and exponent of 1 on the bottom. So it's bigger on top, so that's this one, this part of the acronym, BOTTON. Bigger on top means no horizontal asymptote. So we'll write none here for that. But we likely have a slant, and if we look at our list, slants occur when the numerator is 1 degree higher than the denominator, and that's what we have here. So we do long division, everything in front of the remainder with our long division is the equation of the slant. So it is one degree bigger on top than bottom, so we'll have a slant. So we'll do our long division here. So we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 12, and we're dividing that by negative x minus 2, or negative x plus 2. So what times negative x gives me 2x squared? That would be a negative 2x, so that gives me 2x squared here, and then negative 2x times 2 is minus 4x. We subtract, so those cancel, flip this one to a plus, 5x plus 4x, 9x, bring down the negative 12 there. What times negative x gives me 9x? That would be minus 9, so we get positive 9x there, negative 9 times 2, minus 18, flip it to plus, that cancels, negative 12 plus 18, is 6, so our remainder is plus 6 over negative x plus 2. We don't care about the remainder, we focus on this. This is the equation of our slant. y equals negative 2x minus 9. So we'll write that in here, y equals negative 2x minus 9. So this is an imaginary line at with a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of negative 9 that uh, we will graph in there. It's not actually a part of the graph, it's just used to identify uh, the slant asymptote. So vertical asymptotes, those looking at our list again, vertical asymptotes occur from factors in the denominator that do not cancel. So I've got it fully factored here. I just factored the 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. Factors this way. I have a lot of videos on factoring if you have trouble with that, but that's how it factors. So no factors cancel between the numerator and denominator. So this will give us a vertical asymptote. So we saw for x here, shortcut would just be add x to both sides, so we get x equals 2. So vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Don't let this negative fool you. You can either uh, add x to both sides and get x equals 2, or subtract 2 from both sides and then divide by negative 1. Either way, you get x equals 2. Holes occur from factors that cancel between numerator and denominator, so we have none because no factors uh, match between the numerator and denominator. Roots Roots come from factors in the numerator that do not cancel. So again, you can look at the list here. Factors in numerator that do not cancel with factors in the denominator give you the x-intercepts, the roots. So 2x minus 3, we would add 3 and divide by 2. So that would be x equals 3 halves for this root. You add 3, divide by 2 to solve for x there. Set it equal to 0 and solve. So x equals 3 halves is a root. x plus 4 set that equal to zero, you get x equals negative four, so that's another root at negative four. And the y-intercept, the y-intercept occurs when x is zero. So we'll evaluate this function, I'll use that form instead of the factor form, when x is zero. So f of zero would be equal to uh, two x squared, if you plug into zero there, that's zero, it goes away. Plus five x, five times zero, zero goes away. So we're just left with negative 12 on top, this negative 12. And then x is 0, so negative uh, 0 plus 2 would be 2. So negative 12 divided by 2, negative 6. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 6. 
So we'll start our sketch, and if we need some additional points, uh, we'll find those. But hopefully that will be uh, enough. So vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Put that in here. At x equals 2. Slope intercept, or slant intercept, negative 2x minus 9. So y intercept, put it down here at negative 9. And then the slope is uh, down to over 1. So we'll plot that in here like this. So we're going to need to scroll down some to see this section of the graph. All right, so there is uh, our vertical asymptote and slant asymptote. Line are set down here, negative 1. Slope is negative 2. So now for the roots. So this root right here is at 3 halves. That's 1.5. So we'll put that in right here at uh, 3 halves. We have another root at negative 4. That would be over here, negative 4. And based on that information, plus our y-intercept being here at negative 6, we know that this section of the graph looks like this. has to go through that root. It has to approach this slant asymptote as x goes to negative infinity. Go through the root at negative 4. That's this one right there through the y-intercept at negative 6. So, and it has to curve and go through this route at uh, 1.5 and then approach this vertical asymptote as f of x goes to positive infinity. So that section looks like that. Then, obviously, we cannot have any graph down here in this section because it would fail the vertical line test if we did. So there's no graph down there. Now, we either have a graph section here in that area bounded by those uh, asymptotes or down here. So we need to evaluate the function when x is something right of this vertical asymptote at 2. So we'll use an x value of 3, use the smaller number just to make it easier. So we'll plug that into the function. So we'll evaluate at an x value of 3, so f of 3. So that would be 2. I'm using the non-factored version. So 2 input a 3 for x plus 5 times 3 minus 12, that's on top, over negative 3 plus 2 on bottom, I'm running out of room here. So that would be 18, I'm coming down here with this. So 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, plus 5 times 3 is 15, subtract 12 from all of that, over negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So 18 and 15, that's 33 minus 12, is 21 divided by negative 1 is negative 21. So there is a point down here, this is green, at 3, negative 21. So that tells me it's not in this section. The point 3, negative 21 would be down here. So the graph has to be in that section right there. And I know that that ordered pair is 3, comma, negative 21. So that graphs everything, identifies all the major parts. I will probably make one additional video with another example in part three. So that's it for this one.